I'm fantastic. Y'all, kind of emotional today <laughs> because I'm taking mine and Starburst relationship to the next level. Today, I'm turning my Starburst into a burrito. I'm making the Starburst burrito. <laughs> it's gonna be iconic. The tortilla is gonna be a Starburst. <laughs> It's gonna have Starburst in it. It's gonna have different things in it that look like burrito fillings. It's gonna be a really fun recipe. I think y'all are gonna have a lot of fun watching it. I'm gonna have a lot of fun making it. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a tomato. And also hit that notification bell so that all my videos get sent directly to your phone. So you can actually see them. <laughs> I got mini Starburst. I got normal Starburst. I got more normal Starburst. I got brownies. I got coconut. I'm gonna make guacamole. It's gonna be really fun. <laughs> Let's go make it. Ew, I boogers. Okay, so first step, we're gonna make our burrito meat, <laughs> which is gonna be crumbled up brownies. So I'm gonna make brownies from a box because, you know, it's, it isn't like the main, like, recipe, like, about brownies. So I just chose to do it from a box. A little more simple, right? So I was gonna take a bowl and follow the directions on the back. <laughs> so for this we're gonna need two eggs, half a cup of vegetable oil, and three tablespoons of agua. So I'm just gonna open up the box. Ooh, I love brownie powder. Now these scissors are not very good anymore. <laughs> I don't know what has happened to them. I'm just gonna pour all this in. Perfect. Now, fun fact, y'all. If you have dogs, be very careful while making things with chocolate in it because as some of y'all know, chocolate is terrible for dogs. Me and my family have two dogs, so I am always super careful when I make my chocolatey stuff. Don't let any fall on the floor. Don't let your dogs get near it, okay? Be a responsible adult. That was my fun fact of the day. I'm passionate about that. <laughs> I'm supposed to add half a cup of vegetable oil. I think that's like half. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, so oily. And it says to add three tablespoons of water. I don't have a tablespoon. They're all in the dishwasher. Damn, I really need to do dishes. <laughs> One, two, three. Is that really all? I feel like it needs more water than that. I don't know. That, that feels like a tiny bit. And also we're going to add two chicken fetuses. One. Oh my God, that one <laughs> exploded. <laughs> two. <laughs> My God! I'm just gonna whisk this up and I still can't find my damn whisk. So I'm gonna use one of these from the machine. <laughs> I still can't find it. Oh yes, oh yeah. Air gets This is so oily that like nothing sticks to the sides. It's like a slime almost, you feel me? Oh, brownie slime. Good idea. I bet someone's done it, though. Wow, I love the texture. This is so thick and gooey. Now, this is what I call brownie batter. This looks amazing. Okay, so I got a little brownie pan here. I'm just going to Pamela it. Perfect. Now, I'm just going to pour my brownie batter in, and it should come out pretty easily. Ooh, because there's so much oil in it, like nothing's sticking. In the crack, in the crack. In my veg, right? I'm doing the oil diet where I live off of oil. <laughs> Don't do that, y'all. Ooh, the oven is preheated. I'm just gonna give it a couple bangs. Get out all those bubbles. And I'm gonna pop this into the oven, following the directions on the box until it's 100% done. No gooeyness in the middle. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so the brownies are in the oven. They are going. It's going to take like 40 minutes, so I got to do something else while they're in there. <laughs> I'm going to make the burrito cheese. It's going to be a coconut flakes. Yes. So what I'm going to do is get a dip look. It already looks like kind of like a mozzarella like kind of cheese, but I want it to look more like cheddar cheese. I just think it's brighter and prettier, so I'm just going to put like a lot of the coconut flakes into there. Probably like half. Yeah, that's good enough. Spread them out a bit, perfect. And I'm going to add some yellow food coloring right into the bag. So I'm literally like dying of the coconut. Come on, kind of toss that around a bit. I'm going to seal it up again and I'm just gonna start shaking it all over, mixing it around just like this until it's all coated in the yellow food coloring. This could take a while. Play the music. Between my two fat lips, I say a prayer for the pubic hair. I really hope that no one hears my pussy. Update, it's getting there, but I do have to kind of squish it around with my hands to really coat all the coconut. 
He fought straight in their ears. I cross my legs, but I feel a tickle. My pussy is in one big pickle. Oh. I think that our coconut cheese is pretty much done. There's still some blobs of food coloring, but whatever. I think it's spread around as much as it can be. It's all pretty much yellow. Let me take a little taste, see if the food coloring affects the coconut flavor. Mmm. No, it tastes normal. It tastes good. Probably gonna make my caca green though, but that's okay. I'm gonna set this aside until we assemble our burrito, but it's not nearly time for that yet. Now we're gonna work on our Starburst tortilla. So before I do anything with these, I need to start unwrapping them, y'all. This process takes a long time. I did it once before with my Starburst cake, and it was worth it. That was a beautiful cake, and this will be worth it too. Let's do this! Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Open for the love of God! <laughs> There. Let's begin. One. Oh my god, I'm going to queef in my panties right now. My pussy is going to Um, I unwrapped all of them, it took forever, but do y'all see an issue here? <laughs> The ratio is not equal. This is not equality right here. We got a bunch of cherry, a bunch of yellow, and a tiny bit of orange, and a tiny bit of strawberry. What is this? I was gonna make a nice even design in my tortilla, but I guess that's not gonna happen today. I'm gonna have to figure something else out, okay? So now, this part's gonna be fun. I'm gonna get a crusty, kind of dirty pan, <laughs> and I'm gonna put a big layer of parchment paper. And this is gonna help the starburst not stick to the pan. I'm gonna make kind of like a circular design or try to out of all my starbursts. So I think I'm just gonna kind of like line them up like this. And I'm gonna do that again with the yellows. Now I was just gonna go like color by color and just like do like rows of all the different colors, but there's a lot less of the orange and the pink. So I'm gonna have to do like less rows of those and more rows of the yellow and red. Okay, so now that we have a nice square here, I wanna make it more circular, like a real tortilla. So I'm gonna kinda just like get that circle shape going, or try to, something like this. I'm gonna put a few more here, like that. You feel me? So it's gonna go out into more of a circle. Are you feel me? Okay. And you're gonna see what's gonna happen after this. I swear this is gonna become a tortilla, okay? Like tuna mixed with dead asshole. I blame the dogs like humans do. Okay, I think that's good enough. That's kind of like more circular than before. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna put this into the oven just until the starbursts are a little bit melted. Not like all the way at all, but just like a little bit melted to where they're like soft and more like taffy and like squeezable. So probably literally like two minutes in the oven and then I'm gonna take them out. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so my starbursts are perfectly softened. Let me show y'all. This is the exact texture I want. Like, see, you can just like press a knife into it and it makes a dent, but it's not like liquid, you feel me? So this is perfect. What I'm gonna do now is while it's still warm, be very careful, I'm going to take another sheet of parchment paper and lay it on top, just like this. And I'm gonna take my rolling pin and just squish them down and they're all gonna stick together and become one big tortilla. My friend believe me, unlike you. They give him away cause he smells so bad. I can't go to bed. Oh my god, that's so pretty. <gasps> Look at those stripes though. Go this way a little bit too. Because it was my veg. Oh shit, oh no, it's coming again. Uh burp is coming out of my pussy. Okay, that worked amazingly. Let me take off the top. <gasps> yes. We have one huge starburst, it looks amazing. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this into the fridge until it's completely cooled and back into starburst texture, like that more cold, hard texture. Oh, y'all, I'm so proud of this. Yes, it worked. Okay, into the fridge we go. Okay, so last thing I'm gonna make is guacamole to go on our burrito, and it's really just gonna be whipped cream, green homemade whipped cream. So I'm using heavy whipping cream. All I'm gonna do is literally pour it into the bowl. So I'm just pouring all the whipped cream into the bowl. Perfect, smells like cow. We need to give it that guacamole color. So I'm just gonna add some green food coloring. Like that much, perfect. That might be too green, oh my god. And now I'm literally just gonna start whipping until it turns into whipped cream. I'll stop and give y'all updates as we go. Brand. Oh my god, I'm going to... There's like a froth that has formed on the top, a lot of little bubbles, see that? But it's still all liquid underneath, so we just keep going until we have thick peaks. Queef in my pan 
tees right now. Okay, so now it's actually starting to get thicker, see? We don't have like whipped cream yet, but it's really, really thick. So we keep going now. <laughs> My pussy is going to expel it. I think that is done. It looks pretty whipped to me. Yo, that was just cream a second ago. So we have our perfect green guacamole whipped cream here. Doesn't really look like guacamole, but it's good enough. It looks more like ice cream. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna set this aside for a minute. Now it's time to assemble a burrito. I have to make my brownies into ground beef. The goal is to make this look like ground beef, so I'm literally just going to, oh, the center is not all the way done. Okay, we got these parts. Hold on. <laughs> Let me take the center out. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I did not see that plot twist coming. I know this part is delicious, but it will not look like ground beef in my burritos. So I need to take it out. Wow. That is so sad. So I'm just literally just going in with a fork and attacking. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's kind of doughy and, I don't know, shiny and ground beefy a little bit. I think it's good enough. So now, okay, so let's see how our Starburst tortilla turned out. It's perfect. It's like really Starbursty texture now, see? It's like bendy, but it's, you know, it's like candy again. Now, of course, I, I want this to be more of a tortilla shape, so I'm just gonna cut off Okay, this is gonna be harder than I thought. I'm gonna try to cut off the edges. Um, if I like rip it, oh, that's better. Yeah, that works a lot better. Uh, uh, you know what works? If I make like an imprint with my knife first, and then it's easier to rip because there's already like a little path. Feel me? So. There we go, yes! Genius! Perfect! Yo, that's a perfect tortilla! And it comes right off, see? Wow, this is iconic. Okay, so now to assemble the burrito, I'm just gonna add some of my gooey brownies, which need some more baking. <laughs> yeah, they definitely do. But they're like, nice and mushy, kinda like ground beef. So yeah, always cook your brownies fully, just in case, okay? Oh my Jesus, they know it's me. Perfect, so we have our ground beef on our Starburst tortilla. So now I'm just gonna add some of my coconut yellow cheese. Just all over the brownies. Ooh, so pretty. That adds a nice look and a nice flavor. Mm-hmm, yes. Perfect. Now I'm gonna add some Starburst minis which are unwrapped. I was like, if the tortilla is gonna be Starburst, we might as well go all the way and add some Starburst inside too. And then put them all over. So cute! The smell of death in my pussy. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll buy a This is kind of like our pico de gallo. You feel me? And last but not least, I'm gonna add my green whipped cream guacamole. Oh my god, that's so pretty. <laughs> I love the whole color scheme going on here. Okay, perfect. Oh my god, that looks amazing. <laughs> so now it's just time to wrap it up into a burrito. So I think I'm just gonna do like halfway and halfway like this. Ooh, oh, it's, it sticks because of that whipped cream though. It's beautiful! Oh my god, y'all, it's done! Wow, wow. Truly iconic. Look at this thing, you guys. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is beautiful. This is literally a piece of art. That's so iconic. <laughs> What? What did I make? <laughs> I'm shocked! Oh my god, I don't know what I created. Oh my god, and I can hold it perfectly and everything. <laughs> you guys, I'm shook. I created Frankenstein. Look at that brownie meat. And the coconut cheese is in there too on this side, see? Oh, oh my gosh, I'm like nervous to taste it. I think it's gonna be really hard to chew though, so I'm expecting that. Okay, here we go. Mmm. 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 Whoa. <laughs> oh, so good, but it's hard to chew a big bag of Starburst. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh my god. The brownie <gasps> goes so good with the Starburst, so good. And the whipped cream is really refreshing. It's a lot to handle, but it's delicious. <laughs> what would be better is to make like a mini one and put like a little mini brownie in it. And more like this thing that's more of an appropriate size. This could feed 
a family for a week. <laughs> But how iconic though, I'm obsessed. This is like one of my favorite things I've ever made just because it's so beautiful to look at. I'm slain! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched the whole thing, you're a true tomato and so I know who you are. Leave a comment that says, I need a candy tortilla in my life. Also don't forget to watch all my other videos. I tasted a bunch of banquet frozen meals recently. Y'all need to go watch that. All the little videos will be popping up around here. Don't forget to subscribe to become a tomato. I'll see you guys next video. I love you so much. Oh, oh, oh.